Thank you to be here. <laughs> Uh, thank you to be there. A lot of people speaking French, or perhaps we should do uh, in French. I don't know. We can swap. So, um, welcome to this presentation entitled How the French Wiktionary Became a Grown Up Project. So, Rixio, Rixio Rat, exactly. So, introducing a Wiktionary and editing on content creation and languages of France. Luca is here. A Wiktionarian focusing on structure, convention, and Boliv uh, Bolivian languages, no way. And uh, a Wikipedian, sometimes lost in the Wiktionary, myself, Benoit. So, a brief history of the French Wiktionary. French Wiktionary uh, began uh, about 2004, and important milestones are the next ones. So 2006, importation of the eighth dictionary of the Académie Française. It represents something like uh, 45,000 words. In 2011, importation of the Littré dictionary, and it represents something like uh, 130,000 words. And uh, the duration of the export was about four years because of a lot of artifacts and mistakes. And the last bug was fixed uh, this year, in January 2016. Uh, from 2006 to 2009, there was the importation of Stuka, to represent something like 30,000 audio recording, and still a lot to do now, actually. So about data, we have now something like uh, 3 million entries in almost 4,000 languages. Um, uh, we have uh, 300,000 entries in French and more than 1 million including flexions and almost 300,000 illustrative quotations. So it's important to precise that a dictionary is not a database. A dictionary is inclusive based on attestations. So uh, it is taking into account variations and providing a proper place for etymology. So uh, we are facing these uh, issues actually, the, the slow expansion, the slow increasing of number of editors. For example, we, uh, we have about 40 active editors per month for the two last years. And difficulty to explain what we are and what we do exactly. And difficulty to impulse new ambitious dynamics because of lack of active people, the same reason. So we are seeking uh, for solutions and uh, we wonder how can we challenge these issues. So um, the first point is French Wiktionarian get visible and create media. And Noé is going to talk about that. And French Wiktionarian's impulse project and collaborations and Luca is going to talk about that. Thank you. Okay, my turn. So the first point that we went to talk with people. That's obvious because we talk about words, but we went to meet people. So we went to Lyon, our city, to meet our colleagues, collaborators of uh, Wikipedia or Commons, and then we talking with them and meeting other Wiktionarians, we organized the first uh, monthly event about Wiktionary in the world in Lyon. And since September 2015, we have this monthly meeting in a, a place, here you have a picture with the, the bunch of us. Uh, at Kotopo, it's, a, it's a, an associative place with a library with more than 2,000 books in different languages and uh, language classes. So it's a perfect place for a project that is multilingual. And uh, it's a place where you can meet people People, you can um, train beginners and you can share ideas with other Wiktionarians. Well, at, at the beginning we start with one people and then it increases in number each month. Right now we are like 12 people each meeting, so that's kind of cool. And it's on the schedule and this association have around 3,000 people. So it's 3,000 people that read the program of this association and see Wiktionary in it and ask questions about this. So that's cool. And then we, we also get really dynamic online. So we uh, react on trendy words like Uberize last year or two years ago and Bataclan recently. And that helped us to be caught by newspapers. So in the screen you can see a blog by the proofreader of the newspaper Le Monde that have to quote Wiktionary to have a definition of Uberize, uh, Uberize in French. Um, 
it's not the only one and we keep track of those. And we also offer and be reactive on the page wondering on words or meaning. The equivalent in English is the tea room where people can ask a definition or if they have a definition and ask for the word. And there's more than 100 contributions each month and that help us to create words that people need. So that create a content that is um, asking, asked by people. We also interact on Twitter with the hashtag Wiktionnaire, or when people ask for a word, we answer, and the official account of Wiktionnaire is really dynamic, thanks to Luca. And he's also the maker of some videos on YouTube, so if you like for a channel, you can see videos of etymology of words that are defined in Wiktionnaire at first. Um, we keep track of this and we be very proud of what we do. So we start a news page, like the small equivalent of a signpost for Wiktionary. And it's a way to have a regular report and to keep track of the changes and of the milestones. And we, we start last year, so we have done 14 editions. The last one is there, it's very small because it's quite long, so you can get on, on the website and read it. And uh, there's 14 editions with shorts, so when the newspaper quotes Wiktionary is in the shorts. Um, with statistics, the evolution in with metrics. And we have a section with dictionary of the month to define references in different languages. The the books you can use to contribute to Wiktionary. And also abstract of scientific publication. So we do some resume of scholar publication about Wiktionary, or about a lexical database online, about words that can be of some interest for people reading Wiktionary. That's, well, well we don't know exactly, but there are more than 100 uh, readers. You, you have a, a, a page where you can be registered and have noticed when it's published, usually at the beginning of the month. So there's 50 followers, and around 40% of those are not Wiktionarians. So we reach a different public. Um. That helps us to, to be critical about uh, our activity. So I will just point out four different pages online. You can find them online. The first one was uh, first annual results. So what we have done till now. We published this in December. Uh, um, so it's only in French till now. But we made a like. Um, uh, uh, what is Wiktionary and what we have done and what we haven't done. And then in January we publish a list of skills. So what Wiktionary have learned doing Wiktionary because Wiktionary is a new project and we haven't, but when we start we haven't know what we are, will do. So what we have learned, what are our skills. And in February we made this poster here with what is Wiktionary and we try to do this communication stuff. We don't know how to do that so that's draft mainly. But well it's a kind of a poster. And right now we start in April a vision of Wiktionary. So what, want, what we want for Wiktionary to be in the future. And it's also a guideline for developers to look what they can do to help Wiktionary because we don't know how to, to ask for people to do stuff for us or with us. And also we get some public recognition by getting in touch with the media. So we uh, publish a, a post on the wiki, uh, about Wiktionary, about this topic mainly, uh, of the uh, monthly meeting on the French chapter blog in May. So you can read it, it's in French, of course. But um, we have much more uses of the Wiktionary definition in newspaper recently. So it's increasing and we can keep track of this. And well, we don't have metrics, but it's going up. And we have a good coverage of our activity in local media. So you can see these two guys. It's a TV uh, um, on French national TV. It's a six minute long video about an expedition to the countryside to document a church. And then it's finished at the pub where we went at the beginning. So it's a nice video. And also an article about the collaboration. We start in Lyon. And that's a transition to let my colleague talk about collaboration. Thanks. So I will uh, talk you about uh, and, uh, several steps about uh, collaboration. So uh, we, the first step is uh, sneak in a national event or local event. And uh, it's a getting part of local project and support by Wikipedia on commons. Um, we, crea we create a uh, series about gender and art during art and feminism. Uh, we make a wiki fromage, is an, uh, an equivalent to wiki cheese, a uh, project in French Wiktionary. Uh, we translate the title. And uh, now contributors uh, include Wiktionary in the third step uh, of uh, event organization, so it's very, uh, very proud of it. Uh, you can see uh, the article of Cantal, it's of uh, cheese, uh, we created um, in uh, Wikifromage uh, uh, edited. 
So it's uh, one example. You can see uh, the Edith Hatton in the Lion Fine Art Museum. Museum. And uh, it's a local intrusion. Uh, we make a contribution to Wiktionary on uh, Renaissance terms. And uh, we create new entries and scissors. And uh, we improve etymology and uh, add illustration into French Wiktionary. And uh, this is a uh, collateral improvement of Wikipedia article and common uh, categorization. Uh, you can see uh, the article Charte de mariage. It's an object in a uh, lion. You, you can't find this object uh, out of lion. And uh, we make a local category for this object in commons. And uh, it's important for commons. Uh, the second step. It's uh, to capture people's attention. So uh, we participate to dozen conferences this past two years. And uh, uh, lots of uh, this conference is, uh, is with invitation from local and national institutions. Uh, and we make a workshop to specific public, uh, like a free culture, librarian, and lexicographers. Uh, you can see me. Uh, at uh, one conference in Paris, uh, this uh, 2015. Uh, the step three, it's an impulse project. So it's important. We have made a, a very big project about language in France. It's Langue de France. And uh, it's a national project to bring uh, France regional languages online. Uh, we, stru we structure a network of activists, linguists and associations who speak a local language, uh, like uh, Alsatian Office of Culture and Languages, it's OLCA. Uh, we train to, to contribute in Alemannic and Frankish, and we help them to open the archive. Uh, now I advise the European Digital Languages Diversity Project and I write an article, it's how to put a language in internet and uh, is to appear. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we created a lingua libre, it's a web-based audio recorder tool to build a lexical archive. And uh, you can see uh, the first step uh, in the bottom. So where's the next step? Uh, we pave the way and uh, we can share content with a cross-project contributors. We can share templates, language codes and good practices and others. Maybe we can write a MOOC about how to uh, make your own dictionary with Wiktionary. Uh, we can impulse a trans-Wiktionary edit -aton. And uh, we want to set up a Wiktionary convention. Thank you. So it's time to conclude. So um, probably Wiktionary has the, the unique or the real driver for change. And uh, it is already useful as a dictionary and more, translation, rhyme, thesaurus, for example. It can be used for every language, including non-documented non ones, for example. We can communicate and bring attention to the different uses of dictionary. And finally, we can improve and impulse ambitious projects. So thank you to everybody to be, uh, to be there. Thank you especially uh, to Florian for, for his help. And um, now it's time for question or discussion. Uh, first, critical issues for the future we can discuss is uh, what will be the impact of Wiktionary on langu language's vitality? How can we dialogue with lexicographers and linguists? And how can we share words and ideas with our fellow Wiktionarians on other, from other versions? Time, time to question. We have only 10 minutes, so we invite you to um, a pirate meetup tonight at 9 p.m. next to the beer tent. Well, the tent where you can drink a beer and talk about Wiktionary. Okay. Okay, my, my name is Gabriel Tulin. I'm from Geneva, Switzerland. I had a question about the interwiki links you have on the Wiktionary project. 
And I was wondering if you could do a demo, like of fixing up some interwiki links that aren't properly done. Would that be possible? Okay, well if you look at the entry for Sandik, in the feminine form of Sandik, it does not link up properly to other language uh, wiktionaries who have the feminine form. Like in Catalan, there's a fem feminine form of Sandik, it's Sindica, and the wiktionary entry does not link up to the feminine form. Would you be able to show us how to fix that? Uh, ah. Yeah. We, we can show you. Well, to talk about interwiki, uh, Wiktionary is not included in Wikidata, so we do it the old way, like the old fashioned way. Okay. Um, <coughs> Hi, I'm Lydia. Uh, I'm the product manager for Wikidata and about uh, interwiki links and a lot of other uh, Wikidata support for Wiktionary. There's a proposal up. Um, we want to start working on it. So if you're familiar with um, Wiktionary, it will be amazing if you look at this uh, proposal and give us feedback if this is going to work for you or if you see issues with that. That would be really, really helpful. Thank you. I'm Federico, also known as Nemo Bis, and I've registered actually as the first thing in Wiktionary uh, in 2005. So that's how I uh, approached Wikimedia, uh, and I've always cared about Wiktionary then. I, I've, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, you mentioned that you added, uh, uh, you imported 400 40 uh, thousands and uh, 120 thousand words, but how many, to how many Wiktionary entries this, uh, did this translate to? Because uh, if I look at the statistics, uh, I see much more imports in uh, in the French Wiktionary. I would say in the order of million, is that possible? And did you ever manage to, uh, I observed that also the Russian Wikipedia, uh, Russian Wiktionary and the, Russia and the in English Wiktionary uh, made some big imports. And uh, that, uh, well, I, I, last time I watched, uh, the sta I looked the statistics uh, uh, a few years ago perhaps. But in my totally anecdotal observation, I noticed that all the Wiktionaries which uh, had an upward active editor strand had performed at least one big uh, import at some point. So uh, I wanted to ask if you ever tried to, uh, to measure how many new users uh, arrived to Wiktionary by landing and perhaps editing uh, one of those automatically imported uh, entries. And I had another question, but, but, but I forgot it. That's enough. Okay, to, to a quick, quick answer. Um, we, we make a difference between article and entries. So a page on Wiki and Wiktionary can, can, can include different entries in different languages. So first you will have French in French Wiktionary, and then other languages in alphabetical order. So we have more uh, entries and pages. And we also create um, automatic creation, like um, the conjugation for verbs. So when you enter a verb, it creates 30 pages with all different tenses and aspects and modality uh, uh, and person. And for plural too, that creates much more pages. That's why we reach more like as much as three million pages. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Tom. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm Lars from Sweden. And I wonder what are, is the status of foreign language words in the French Wiktionary, and uh, do you count that? And uh, is uh, Swedish the Swedish have more words than Norwegian, or how how is it? Um, okay, this was wasn't to present Wiktionary. We were waiting, we were expecting that uh, well, uh, like global presentation of Wiktionary in the gym, but there wasn't. So we just focused on what we have done about around Wiktionary to impulse other people to do the same with small projects. Right. Do I understand correctly that it was y you who created it specifically for French Wiktionary? 
And okay, yes. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, that tool looks extremely useful uh, for other other wishners as well. I mean, I've done that recording several times. I know that it takes quite a lot. I mean, it takes to find a special tool in which you, uh, a software in which you can record. Then it takes also processing probably. So your tool can it be somehow imported maybe to other wiktionaries? And how is it? Can it be technically done? Thank you. Uh, okay. The main, the main developer, of the main um, programmer of the, this new software is the one that made Stuka a few years ago. And uh, Stuka was a database of audio recording. Uh, there's around hundred, hundred thousand what? in command. And uh, these developers uh, work now on uh, Lingua Libre. First step of winning a lingua libre is to uh, record uh, audio of local languages in France, and uh, we categorize uh, every sound uh, by commune. And after we want to uh, to uh, put uh, a new uh, country one by one uh, with uh, with map and new uh, structure of uh, categorization. And this categorization is thanks to uh, uh, import later the uh, database of sound uh, who made by um, uh, university in French who have uh, recording few decades ago uh, the local languages. And uh, we want to make that for all recording for all uh, languages. Uh, we reached the, ed the end of the time we have now. Uh, we can have, I think, one or two more questions. But then we have a follow-up tonight, and we will talk a lot about this software in the Wikicon in Paris. We will do three presentations, not together, but each one of us will do a presentation. So we will talk a lot about Wiktionary there. And uh, next year we plan to do a lot about Wiktionary too. So you can also came to the to the pub, to the Wiktionary pub that named Wikidemi and just post something and we will answer you and um, we may create a user group or something like this to keep in touch with people interested by this topics. Or you can read actuality. So uh, just to, uh, to add something about the last question, the project Lingua, Lingua Libre is supported by Wikimedia France, the, the national association, but it's an hope to, to see this tool uh, used by other dictionaries. Indeed, yes, definitely. I think so. Yeah. Mm. So I think it's good. Thank you. <laughs>